Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I'll discuss the differences between IntelliJ and Eclipse. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is the available editions. IntelliJ exists in three editions, Community, Ultimate, and Educational Editions. The Community Edition is free of charge and download ready. The Ultimate Edition costs money. For individuals, it's $169 in the first year, $135 in the second year, and $101 for the third year, excluding tax. It's worth noting that these prices are subject to change. The Educational Edition suits educators and students. It's available for free, but one must apply for the license. However, Eclipse is available in one version that's open source and designed for Java developers. Additionally, it's free of charge and download ready for all users. Therefore, IntelliJ is more suitable for IDE for beginner developers as it is versatile. It supports multiple programming languages. Supported Plugins IntelliJ supports plugins the beginner developer will need. However, it limits the number of compatible plugins since it's not entirely open source. Eclipse, however, supports a wide range of plugins. Being open source, Eclipse allows unlimited opportunities for developing plugins. Therefore, Eclipse is more suitable for professional developers who want diverse plugins to work on complex projects. IDE Resources IntelliJ demands at least 2 GB of RAM and 2.5 GB of disk space to install and run. Eclipse needs at least 0.5 GB of RAM and 300 MB of disk space to install and operate. IntelliJ is less efficient than Eclipse, especially when rendering complex code. IntelliJ handles memory poorly while Eclipse utilizes computer resources smoothly. However, these features can change with future updates. Therefore, Eclipse is a more suitable IDE for professional developers handling complex, resource-hungry projects. But do they have any similarities? Yes, both IDEs are available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Developers can use any of them on their preferred operating system or across all the platforms. A developer can switch systems and operating systems and continue working on the same project. To sum up, which is better, IntelliJ or Eclipse? I like IntelliJ because it's progressive. A beginner developer starts with a free, open-source community version. Afterward, they may buy the Ultimate Edition for demanding projects. This flexibility allows the developer to adapt to the IDE gradually. I like Eclipse because it supports a wide range of development plugins. However, I find it less friendlier to a beginner developer. I choose Eclipse because it's stable due to development budgetary support from its parent company. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching, till next time.